Yeah, it is me. Yes, it is me. Yes, indeed. Yep. Looks looks really fake, doesn't it? <laughs> it's great, isn't it? I know. It's, it, it's really fun. Uh, yeah, it's gone all over the place. So, yeah, I'm very proud of it. It is a pretty amazing experience. I mean, you are you're probably getting as close as you can to that dream that we sometimes have, you know, of flying. You know, when you're dreaming and you imagine you can just go wherever you want to go, um, it does feel a bit like that. I was an oil trader with BP for 16 years, but my whole family was from the world of aviation and engineering. Um, and I love a challenge. I love taking something which I think is impossible, or maybe everybody thinks is impossible, getting used to the fact that everybody's right usually, like let's say 19 out of 20 times, but the one time in 20, when it turns out it is possible, I find that too exciting to ignore. You know, as, as a kind of miserable British person, unlike the Americans, we would never call ourselves like superheroes, right? The Americans are very happy to make that connection with, you know, Marvel superheroes and things. I think we should do more of that in Europe, right? I think we should, I think we should embrace the power of um, you know, the, the comic book kind of ideas, because they often represent real cre human creativity. So often, yeah, science fiction does point to the really cool ambitions that we have as humans. So yeah, it wasn't how I started, but it's very cool that people think it looks like Iron Man. I mean, obviously humans have been able to fly for about 100 years, but um, in terms of flying in a really cool, kind of very intimate to you kind of way, yeah, um, I'd like to think we've got the closest so far to that. We can usually train most people within a day, half a day, with the safety, yeah, with the safety tether to learn to do this. It sounds crazy, but it's a bit like learning to ride a bicycle. You can't really read a book you have to just go and feel it. And you realize that it's super balanced and stable. You know, if you start to fall that way, or what do you do naturally? You put your arm out, don't you? Well, if you put your arm out and you've got thrust coming out of it, your brain goes, oh, this is like really, really intuitive. And it, it doesn't take very long to learn. So I started this company, as I say, four years ago with the dream of reimagining human flight in a really nimble way that would use your brain from a balance point of view and your body as the flight structure. And I just thought it would be a cool challenge. As the military film shows, this does have an increasing role to play in certain niche mobility areas. Um, we're not suggesting people are going to use these like flying down the street and going to the shops, you know, yet. But we are about to launch our electric version in July. And if batteries keep getting lighter and lighter and lighter, then never say never. Cars started out being really poor and rubbish compared to a horse. And look where cars ended up. So never say never. We did a search and rescue film with a, an air ambulance group. We flew up the mountain and got to the casualty in 90 seconds when it took 20 minutes to walk there. So you can get the first responder medic super fast, like, a, like a, um, a paramedic on a motorbike through the traffic. So we set the Guinness World Record at 85 miles an hour, 135 kilometers an hour. I mean, we can go faster. It just gets quite dangerous. We can go as high as you like, really. I mean, you could go thousands of feet, but we, we rarely go very high at all because it just gets, again, dangerous and, and vulnerable. And you're away from an audience if you're doing a, an event. And then how long? So this will it'll fly about five, six minutes or so, which doesn't sound very long, but because because you're so nimble and you can land and shut down and do something and start back up within 15 seconds and fly again, you don't need that much flight time. It's not supposed to be competing with a helicopter flying for two hours. That's not really the idea.